New York Youth Symphony is still buzzing from the historic Grammy win for best orchestral performance. We were at their watch party back in February. Look at that for all the excitement. And now your child has a chance to be on the ground floor of a new project from this award winning orchestra. And joining me now is the executive director of the New York Youth Symphony, Shauna Quill, and the music director of the brand new program called Crescendo, Chanya Champa Nipponkit. Thank you so much for being here. Thank First you. of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, because it's the first youth symphony to get a Grammy. Yes, That's especially in this category. It's just incredible. We're still on complete <laughs> air. Like, how did this happen? So we're excited. Well, Shauna, t t let's talk about the new program. Yeah, so we, as a result, we are happy to be launching this second orchestra, which will specifically be for uh, New York City residents ages 10 to 18. And we are so excited. It's going to be 44 students in a string orchestra. And mm -hmm. Tanya is going to be its music director. Now, Tanya, tell us more about your experience and, and how it prepared you to lead this project. Thank you. Uh, so I'm from Thailand. Mm -hmm. And when I was in Thailand growing up in the farmland, I didn't have access to music education. So I'm so excited to, you know, work with uh, kids who might not have access to music education um, in the city of New York. That really prepared you. Wow. All right. Now, the program is really going to reflect the wonderful diversity of, of New York City. How, how are you going to do that? So we are programming composers from historically underrepresented uh, communities, including women, uh, people of color, and also um, LGBTQ folks. So we are so excited to open up the minds um, and experiences of students experiencing uh, you know, music from different composers. And Shana, how is, the, how is this program going going to be different than the primary orchestra. Right. So the other orchestra is about double in size and mm. performs at Carnegie Hall three times a year, including this Sunday. And they perform big works by Mahler, Beethoven. Um, and so this will be a smaller version. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, uh, the initiative is to lift them up to the other orchestra. So. Oh, okay. And I did, I saw the orchestra perform at Carnegie Hall and it was just so amazing to see these young people at Carnegie Hall. I mean, it's huge. All right. Let's talk about the audition process and what types of instruments you're looking for. So we are uh, you know, inviting all students who mm -hmm. play string instruments including violin, viola, cello, and double bass to join us. Okay. And, and what is it they're going to need to do? They're going to uh, perform a little bit uh, mm -hmm. of pieces that we are going to, to play. Um, so we're going to have workshop series and everything like that to prepare them as well. Nerve-wracking. I used to play the flute and I was always so oh, nervous. <laughs> All right, where and when are the performances going to happen? So those are going to be next November at Merkin Hall and then next April at um, Zankel Hall at Carnegie Hall. Um, the details, which I can never remember, are on our website, <laughs> nyys.org. Um, I think it's November 20th. <laughs> but yeah, the, in November and April next year. And what kind of commitment does it take from the students on the students' part? And also the parents, obviously, are going to be getting them places. So Exactly. Parents are key to this process. Process. And but the it's every Sunday they'll be rehearsing at Pearl Studios, which is on Eighth Avenue. So very conveniently located. Terrific, Shana and Tanya. Thank you so much for being here. This sounds like such a wonderful program. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Having us. <laughs> and to learn more about how to get involved with Crescendo, head to CBS.